What's up everybody? How are we doing tonight? Happy Sunday. I hope everybody out there had a great weekend. Here, uh, here's your real quick morning fishing report. Had a, had, a, had a great morning today. I was out fishing with my friend Mark Webb. And for those of you that may not know, Mark Webb is the web design, internet, IT mastermind from Walleye Fest. If everybody remembers about a month ago, we had a big old derby. And Mark did all of the internet. He did the website. He did <clears throat> um, how we sold tickets, all of it. And this was the first time that we've been able to get out together. And um, his youngest son, Nate, joined us. It was just a lot of fun. It was, it was a chance for us to get out. Um, Mark invited me out with them on, on his boat. We launched out of a night of shores this morning at 5 a.m. And we took off to parts unknown. We went out deep where I'd had them the last couple days. And we had a nice east wind. We had a nice east wind. It wasn't too much, but it wasn't too little. And I kept looking at the uh, looking at his fish finder all day, and it was reading 62 degrees. I know it was over 70 last week, um, but this is the first time we've had a wind here in in a little bit. It's been a couple weeks where it's been really still, um, and so it rolled, especially coming from the east end, that deeper, colder water. And it rolled it over and it brought it east and it turned those fish on. Now, one thing I want to say about that is in the world of the internet and YouTube videos and Facebook posts and yada, 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 I don't want people to get bummed out when they might go out there. You know, if, if you're a normal guy, you, you have a chance to get out fishing on the weekends Usually it's probably one of the two days you got to pick it and, and hope for the best because that's the time you've got. And, and so we didn't kill them today by any stretch of the imagination. I, we ended up, we had, there was three of us fishing. Um, those guys started off real fast. I had one bite all day. It was a big 20, you know, inch walleye, but, but, uh, we had pretty good picture. We fished three spots. Um, but I think we had four walleye, a couple keeper, and quite a few, four or five big perch. Um, and we fished for four hours, uh, four, 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 four and a half hours, three different spots. Now, one of the spots, friends of mine had, had a two-man limit by, by 10 o'clock. Um, not that they crushed them either, and they both said the same thing to me. We didn't crush them, but... That's a, that's a, that's an excellent morning. You know, uh, captain friend of mine, um, had three guys limited out, um, early this morning, got on a hot school and that wind now moved them around. And anybody that tells you anything about wind from the East and fishing's the least or whatever, two things. If the only day you have to go fishing that particular week or whenever there's an East wind blowing, are you really going to say, well, I'm not going. That's one, two. It's not true. It's not true. I, it doesn't matter the wind. It doesn't matter the direction. I shouldn't say that. There's there's a lot of times where a north wind, because of everything that it means coming with it, will shut things right down. Um, but don't believe that. It also, let's say you went out today. I know I know quite a few people that beat them up. Now, now I was in the I didn't beat them up camp. But we still had some fish and we had fun and we didn't fish that long and or that hard and seriously. But if you're, let's say you did, let's say you did go out and really, you know, and you, and it didn't work or, or not, you know, you just didn't have the day you wanted. Don't then go and get all twisted up inside over seeing 20 posts of, of, you know, oh, we crushed him today because you don't know, you don't, and I'm, I don't mean you don't know if they really did. They're showing you. I have no reason to believe that anybody would would say something just to say it. I'm sure they. that's not the point. The point is there's a lot of good fishermen out there. There's a lot of good fishermen on this lake. And there's a lot of lake and a lot of fish. And, and the four or five schools of fish maybe you worked today, there's statistically the odds are absolutely there that those fish weren't 
the right ones at the right moment. And somebody else was on the right ones at the right moment. And, and, and I don't want people to get bummed out. You know, I don't want people to, to start gauging themselves. I mean, it would be like playing in a Tuesday night golf league, nine holes a week and gauging yourself against Tiger Woods. I mean, you know, or somebody in the pro level that that's, there's a lot of guys on this lake that are just outstanding fishermen, outstanding. And maybe you've never heard of them before. Um, a big clump of leaf just came floating down right between my wife and I, big chunk of dead leaf. And we both went and followed it right to the ground and then looked back up to see where it was coming from. Anyways, I digress, five minutes and 45 seconds. The more important thing on a night of lake is to figure out inside here what you want to do and where you would like to do it. And then everything else will come together from there. Especially for somebody that's new to this lake because it's a big body of water. People don't realize it and sometimes they don't think it. It's, it's landlocked, it's not the Great Lakes and it's right here in our backyard. When it's 20 miles long and six miles wide, that's a big body of water and to try and break it down with Especially if you, even if you're alone uh, in the boat, that means you got one lure going out into search mode, into space, you know. So, so figure out what you have the most confidence in doing, and and I don't. And it, you can jig a hundred different things. You can cast and retrieve fifty different things. You know, you can you have options, but figure out what your style is and what what you're gonna what you might already have confidence in or what you think you might want to try. But, but at some point you've got to start, build the foundation. These guys that are going out there slamming them um, and some names you do recognize and, and part of it is just pure time on the water, okay? Real focused time on the water. And I, and you know, that whole like one rod, one lure thing, it forces you to Stay out of this about, uh, well, I, cause you've got a hundred, two, three, four, five hundred options in the boat with you. And, and if you start going through the, uh, okay, well, I made two casts or I made one cast and I didn't get bit. So this is no good. This is no good. Now you're down to option Z when you find a hot school of fish and maybe option Z is option Z for a reason. Option A even through F, G, you already cycled through when you were around fish that weren't into it, you know? Um, don't, let, don't let this thing get you out of, of sync. Very few of us are, are, are out there trying to make a living tournament fishing. When we go fishing, it's for fun. Um, let it be fun. Don't overthink it. And... Go out and do what you know. Stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane or pick a lane. Either or. Stay in it if you're already on something and really, really get, tell yourself, I want to get to the expert level of this. This one thing before I branch out. You know? Um, and I think that will cure the internet blues. Um, it makes Monday through Friday easier if you're a weekend only guy. Um, and it will be better for you and you will have better results. The more focus and the more positive energy you're, you're, you're putting right down that line through the rod, through the line into the water, because you believe in what you're doing, you know, and then once you start having success, it snowballs, um, and it starts picking up speed. You know the circular flow it's like a it's like an eddy in a, in a river it goes around and around and around and it keeps feeding it and so the so the faster it goes the more it comes in the faster it goes the more it comes in and and that's what happens when you start to get on a roll with a bait with a spot with a technique um with a color with a you could you can dial it right down but don't get all twisted up over internet fish and Focus more on what you did, whether you were successful or not, what you think you could have done differently, what you want to make sure you plan to do the next time.
Like even if you just identified those three things, you will start snowballing because your effort is going back into your craft. This is what this is. It's a craft for us, a trade. You know, we're fishermen and this is what we do. And we want to figure out things to put the odds ever in our favor. Because really, if you think about it, it's astonishing that we, that we know as much as we do anyway to catch a fish. Um, so today's fishing report is some guys grabbed them hard. Some guys got them okay. Some guys didn't get them. Um, today was a change. It was a change from that long, flat, steady weather pattern to boom, up it came. You know, and it blew a little bit. And now all of a sudden, after two weeks of just kind of milling around, all of a sudden it repositioned all the fish in this lake. And, and you could have went through a progression, a milk run of spots, and been on the and just check the upwind side quickly to see if there was anything there they should have been there um you know now it laid right back down to tonight and tomorrow it, there's not supposed to be any wind so now those fish will spread out again and relax and and loosen up you know when that wind blows they tighten up in certain areas because it's a funnel it's 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 in their best interest which is why they go to those places in in lie in wait basically or that's where they start hunting and we're hunting them so that's where we go looking um focus on those details of your every day when you get on the water and and, and worry less about the noise and 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 focus have a plan have something you can focus your energy on as opposed to oh i'm just going to randomly start casting in in certain areas and, and hope for the best that's not a plan and that's not something you can wrap your mind around and get behind and all of those things so try that try that and I, and this this came up to me today because i hear I, I have a lot of people that that message me on a daily basis and they're like oh well so and so you know I hammered him but i didn't get squat and i you know i don't know and don't be down don't be discouraged focus on even when you don't even when you're not successful at something there is so much to learn as much if not more as if you were successful and so start if it means that much to you focus that energy focus that energy on a plan on a specific thing um, a way that you're that you want to do go out have success and then repeat the success and repeat it and repeat it and repeat it and then diversify you know check that off and you know when you pick it back up you can go back to it and you know that what you've done works repeatedly and it's going to work again whatever it is jerking it whatever today was a great day i had a great day with mark and nate the look on nate's face reminded me as we were driving out how i used to feel sitting there with you know with my gramp and going out and he was just a he was he was just a wide-eyed smiling young man because he was happy he was going out fishing with his dad and, and his dad's buddy and he was one of the guys and, and we went out and he he caught fish we caught fish um you know we had stories to tell we forgot the net we we, we landed all these fish by hand and flopped them in the boat or the big ones like you know we reached down and grabbed out of the water and and I looked at him and, and, and that's what precipitated this conversation today is because I want people to take heart and not be down. I want people to, to have someone try to tell them a way that they can be specific about things and see results and, and see how focus if, if you take all of your energy, you know, if you take a, you know, a hose and it's this big around, it's just a, bleh, you know, but all of a sudden you squeeze it down like that and it's a high pressure weapon. I mean, you know, it's, it's really so much stronger, um, not in volume, but in force, you know, so you focus all of that, that, that fishing energy down like this and you're into it. You're, you, you cast like this and you're watching it. You, you make that cast and I watch that lure fly through the air 
and I'm into it and I catch my line and I let that blade hit or that, that worm harness hit the water flat and I'm ready. You know, and we've already, so we've already conquered one thing, all right? So now it hits the water and whatever you're about to do with it, you're still right there. You've had belief in what you're doing, why you're doing it, where you're doing it, and now the rest will come. And as it comes, it gives validation to those thoughts and those theories that you put into practice. And, and a result after putting a theory into practice is an equation. That's, that's two parts with an answer. Um, you thought up the idea, you did it, it worked. Boom. That's the trifecta. So take heart. This is not, listen, if you're, if you're slamming them every day and you got it all figured out, right on. But for everybody that doesn't, don't, uh, don't stress yourself out of enjoyment and don't, don't try to catch every fish in every scenario on every bait at one time. Focus, grasshopper. Focus. All right. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow morning somewhere out there. Have a great evening. Hope you had a great weekend. Start your week out great. Tomorrow is Monday. If you don't have a great morning tomorrow, that's going to affect your week. So if you start out great, you'll already be on a roll. And it'll be that much better. Have a great week. Keep your tip up.